Today, we will travel to the most remote inhabited archipelago in the world. Tristan da Cunha is a remote group of volcanic islands with rare wildlife in the South Atlantic Ocean, lying approximately 2,400 kilometers west of the coast of Cape Town in South Africa. The territory consists of the inhabited island Tristan da Cunha, which has an area of 98 square kilometers, and the wildlife reserves of Gough Island, an inaccessible island, and the smaller, uninhabited Nittingale Islands. Tristan has around 270 permanent inhabitants living in a settlement with one of the most poetic names on Earth, Edinburgh the Seven Seas. The other islands are uninhabited, except for the sixth South African personnel of a water station on Gough Island. By the end of this video, If you're thinking on visiting this extraordinary community, we recommend planning your travel well in advance. There is no airstrip of any kind on the main island, and the only way of traveling in and out of Tristan is by boat, a six-day trip from Cape Town, a service that runs just nine times a year. These are fishing boats, which normally carry mail, cargo, and up to 12 passengers only. As a visitor to the island, You may be required to give up your booking and defer your travel if there is a medical emergency. With time and careful planning, staying on Tristan is achievable. For more information, please follow the link in the description. If you are lucky enough to board one of the ships and make it to Edinburgh of the Seven Seas, you will find a settlement with a slight resemblance to a British village. Nonetheless, English is spoken on Tristan, The local currency is the UK pound sterling. There is a Royal Mail post, the local time is GMT plus zero, and the weather can be temperamental. However, the settlement is sitting at the feet of an impressive volcano, the Queen Mary's Peak, of 2,062 meters high. On 10th October 1961, the volcano erupted and forced the evacuation of the entire population. Tristanians took to the water in open boats and sailed to an inhabited Nittingale Island, where they were picked up by a Dutch ship and taken to Britain. Luckily, Edinburgh of the Seven Seas survived the eruption and most families returned home two years later. Beside the volcano is Volcanic Park, a place for peace and quiet built to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the eruption. But there is a reason why Tristan is also known as the Love Island. Couples, lovers and romantics are in luck, because the summit crater contains a hard shaped lake. This lake is frozen in winter, but adventurers can swim on its very cold waters in summer. Tristan is a tiny community and a big family. Visitors are most welcome, indeed, the hospitality of Tristan's people is famous. To meet the locals, We recommend you head to the Café da Cuna in the tourism center or to the Albatross Bar, the only pub in the island. There are no regular hotels on Tristan, but there are several guest houses. You could also arrange to stay with an island family. For a unique experience, we recommend staying overnight in the Dutch House Museum, a traditional cottage newly built from volcanic rock and touched with New Zealand flags. It is lined inside with painted wood, which in the past would have been salvaged from shipwrecks and furnished in traditional style. To make the most of your visit, we recommend the following activities. A golf package can be arranged and includes a golf tie, a certificate, scorecard and a play on the course. A ride on the only bus in the island will carry you to the Potato Patches, a communal land where crops are grown. A walk to the summit of the Queen Mary's Peak. Please note that you must go with a local guide, and the visit must be arranged in advance with the tourism coordinator. Local boats are available for hire for offshore fishing or for trips around Tristan or to Nittingale Island, where rock hopper penguins can be spotted in January. Or why not taking a trip to an accessible island? Despite its name, it is possible to visit the island, but only visitors escorted by guides from Tristan. 
Inaccessible Island was made a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1995. Bird watchers are in luck, as they can find there one of the 5,000 pairs of the smallest living flightless bird, the Inaccessible Rail. With all these suggestions we have arrived to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed learning more about Tristan. See you in the next one and stay curious.